On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. Uh, the live streams will typically go, I don't, they've been going close to two hours and that close to the two hour mark is about the time I got to call it in uh, because I got to get this thing cut up and edited and posted. And that being said, it's time for the most fun band name I've heard in a long time, Psychedelic Porn Crumpets. <laughs> I'm a cadaver at La Kazam. I can't remember who requested this, but I have seen several requests for this band. Uh, and I'm like, okay. And I think this particular song was actually suggested. So let's find this. And what album, if any, or is it just a single? I feel like it's, I don't know how old it is, but I think it may have been around for a while. There's nobody naming themselves psychedelic porn crumpets nowadays. I don't think, <laughs> for some reason. Uh, anyway, go to album, Smith. Franzoli from 2023. I fucking take that back. You know, what do I know? Nothing. <laughs> uh, but I know I'm going to listen to this. This could be a case of the band name completely describes the sound like the psychedelic part. I don't think that'll be the case. It's like Eagles of death metal are not actually death metal, you know, so I'm curious. Well, let's give it a listen, shall we? Or was it going to be something like Mr. Bungle or uh, Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum or uh, some band like that? Because that's what it sounds like fucking immediately to me. Also, doing this reaction video, <clears throat> excuse me, reaction channel. Uh, I love that I can just pull out references now from bands I've reacted to. <laughs> you know, I like that. Man, I feel like first impressions are key on this, and I really fucking like it. I'll tell you that. You know, when they started out, I'm like, oh, it, it, it could be a weird band. When I say weird, I think you know what I mean, right? I've had people say, <laughs> what do you mean weird? Why is it weird? I mean, are you fucking listening? You know, just weird, uh, 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 quirky uh, instruments with different sort of like time signatures, fucking things up and things like that. Things you don't hear normally on mainstream, really anything, right? <laughs> it's got a weirdness to it. Uh, but I'm like, wow, really uh, sort of transformed there. It's still got this like quirky weirdness to it, but uh, it is so kind of fuzzy and cool and fucking groovy. Can't really get over that. Let's bring that back about 30 seconds or so.
Woo! Man, it's really cool. First of all, the vocals in this uh, Black Keys quality sort of to it with the effect on there that they're choosing to use. I don't know if it always sounds like that necessarily. Uh, uh, meaning with the effects, if that's not like a signature thing that they do. Anyway, uh, just some really cool, understated, sludgy uh, riffs going on there over that really awesome vocal melody that they're doing as well. Um, uh, there's all sorts of fun things in here and honestly yeah it sounds like uh, this could come from a band called Psychedelic Porn Crumpets little fun changes and things yeah Honestly, sorry, last pause before the end. Uh, it does have a Black Keys musical quality, too. I mean this in the best possible complimentary fucking way, man. Uh, it has a White Stripes quality to it. It has a Black Keys quality to it a little bit. Um, uh, it is completely fucking musical. It is rocking as fuck. Uh, sorry, I swear a lot. You know, it's just the way it is. Uh, <laughs> it's just the way it is, guys. Uh, but, uh, man, there's so many cool things. It is one of those just, like, uh, rocking bands, danceable bands, uh, uh, in a great way, you know, in a really good way. Ooh, that's fun. Throw a little Queens of the Stone Age in there, too. Okay, done. Well, am I glad I did that? A great request. Whoever that was, uh, yeah, that was uh, really, really, really fun, and I uh, totally appreciated that. I feel like, man, let me put that on a possibility for another uh, for an album review, Franzoli. Uh, now this is very fucking cool, man. I want to uh, just mention this that I am bringing back the Rock and Roll Roundtable album review podcast that I do with great friends December Lee and Michael Stevens. Uh, we give each other albums to review, and I'm using this as a great fucking source, doing all these album reactions and things I do as uh, for albums to give my friends <laughs> to listen to for the uh, for the review podcast. So uh, uh, I'm just picking albums that from bands that I like almost immediately and starting to put those on my album reaction uh, queue 
for Patreon. So it's kind of the way I'm going to start doing that too, bringing back the album reaction or album review podcast. If that makes any fucking sense. If anything I just said <laughs> makes sense, the point of the story is, is I'm totally going to do Franzoli on an album reaction. Just to see what it sounds like and do an album review too. Anyway, the point of the story is, is that uh, I like good rock and roll, and that was good rock and roll. So thanks, Franzoli, for existing and putting that music in my ears. Appreciate that. That was something that oh, my uh, my eighth grade speech teacher used to uh, uh, say, and it was funny. I, I, I remember actually doing uh, a. <laughs> you could see if you could see old Smith or young Smith with uh, like a mullet and like. Uh, probably like wearing skids the old <laughs> old skids that were like flannel pants that you just rolled up tight and the, anyway the point of the story is doing a uh, a lip sync to Motley Crue's was it without you without you in my life I slowly will to die <laughs> I sounded like Jack Black singing fucking uh, Motley Crue actually uh, the point of the story is is uh, 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 that <laughs> that fucking speech class, the teacher said once uh, that, you know, when you go to see fucking uh, artists, bands play live and the bands are always saying, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're a wonderful audience. Things like that. Like, it seems natural. And it's right there. They're probably right to thank the fans for being there. That make, makes fucking sense. But she said it should be you thanking that band for or whoever is doing that thing because you were entertained. Uh, and I kind of always adopted that. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, th I like to, th in my head, when I listen to music, I go, oh, thanks, guys. What the hell? Everything.